President Trump is claiming total exoneration from the Mueller report, even though on possible obstruction of justice, the special counsel did not notably draw a conclusion. Why is that? Joining me now, the former U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. We should point out that Preet Bharara uh, was fired by President Trump, but he is the author of a new book, Doing Justice, a prosecutor's thoughts on crime punishment and the rule of law. Uh, Preet, I want to get your reaction to, well, there was a whole lot in that Giuliani interview. Let's start <laughs> with uh, when I asked him to respond to Senator Mitt Romney criticizing the president's team for being willing to accept help from uh, Russians during the campaign, including uh, the stolen documents. And again, we should underline uh, insufficient evidence of any criminal conspiracy uh, by Mueller uh, was found uh, by, about the Trump campaign. Uh, anyway, when asked about that, uh, Mayor Giuliani said, quote, there's nothing wrong uh, with taking information uh, from the Russians. Um, what's your reaction? Well, the reaction to the overall interview was you're, you're a very patient man. Uh, there was a lot of character assassination. There was a lot of flailing about. There was accusing people of being hitmen, of torture, all sorts of outrageous things that were said in the context, by the way, of talking about a very nuanced, uh, sober report being unfair. On the question of whether or not it's okay to take information from the Russians, I appreciate that Rudy Giuliani's role in this is to defend the president, I guess, at all costs, no matter what argument uh, he can put forth, whether it makes sense or not, uh, that he should pause and think about what he's saying, not just as an advocate, for a president who he claims was exonerated in a report that he's nonetheless attacking uh, vociferously, th the idea that it is okay, separate apart from it being a, a criminal offense, uh, that we should be telling future candidates in the run-up to an election in 2020 that if an adversary, a foreign adversary, is offering information uh, against a political opponent, uh, that it's okay and right and proper and American uh, and patriotic, it, it seems, he's saying, to take that information, that's okay, that's an extraordinary statement and I would hope he would retract it. Uh, Rudy's main argument uh, in the interview seemed to be that the Mueller report uh, wasn't fair. Uh, what did you think of that? I mean, if you look at the Mueller report overall, there are a couple of things that he seems to, to have issue with. One is that this information is in the report at all. And obviously it's you know a particular point of view. The reason we know about it and the reason it's public is because the attorney general, Bill Barr, put it out. Some people would like it all out, but it was Bill Barr who made the decision to put out the you know the the the, you know, the full amount of it minus some redactions for classified information and other things. Second, you know it seems to me, and I think we should we should get clarity from Bob Mueller. Uh, so I think there's some legitimate uh, confusion about what Mueller's intent was in not making an ultimate decision about whether or not a crime was stated with respect to obstruction. But from my read of it, and it's just my read, uh, and some people agree with me, that Bob Mueller clearly found that there was enough information and evidence to bring an obstruction case were the president you or me or anyone other than someone sitting in the Oval Office because there's this Office of Legal Counsel interpretation of the Constitution. Uh, and that he bent, and he, Mueller, bent over backwards not to state that obstruction was committed and yet, on the other hand, preserve evidence for some f future prosecutor or perhaps Congress to make the determination. So in some ways, I think the Mueller report in its, in its totality was quite fair to the president on this issue of whether or not Michael Cohen has credibility problems and was that set forth in cha you know, chapter and verse in the Mueller report. First of all, it was alluded to. And second, the whole world knows that, that Bob Mueller and his team found Michael Cohen to have lied to Congress. There's an actual indictment. There's a guilty plea on Michael Cohen and his credibility is there and assessed by the, the special counsel for all mm -hmm. to see. And then other particulars as well, there are, there are places where the Mueller report says, you know, there's some information on the one side, some information on the other, and it's hard to say which, you know, uh, carries the day and is favorable to the president and other places where it's not. So overall, it's a, it's a very nuanced, fair document in its totality. So the, the other uh, person, I guess he didn't go after Don McGahn, the former White House counsel under Trump, uh, as a liar the way he did against Michael Cohen, but he did say that he did think Don McGahn's account, that the Don McGahn uh, was, was mistaken or confused, uh, and that his account of President Trump telling him, at least in McGahn's view, to fire Bob Mueller uh, that that was unreliable. What did you think of that? <laughs> like, this is the White House counsel. This is the person that the President of the United States chose to have as, as the chief lawyer advising him in the White House and all sorts of other personnel in the White House, who, by the way, told all these things to Bob Mueller that Rudy Giuliani and other people complain about, did all of that because the President and his other lawyer, Ty Cobb, said, go cooperate and tell the truth. As the Mueller report points out, Don McGahn had no reason uh, to exaggerate, no reason to embellish, no reason to lie. And if you take, if you look at the section that, that relates to, to Don McGahn hearing from President Trump, 
you know, get rid of Bob Mueller. He should, he should be gone. He shouldn't be there. Um, it, it's a very tortured analysis of English that Rudy Giuliani engages in and saying, well, it didn't mean fire. It didn't mean get rid of him. Don McGahn is not a stupid man. Don McCann was a White House counsel, understood exactly what the president wanted. And that's further corroborated by the fact that Donald Trump did 80 other things that suggested he wanted Bob Mueller gone, suggested that he wanted uh, Jeff Sessions to unrecuse, suggested that he wanted Jeff Sessions to change the focus of the investigation, even telling someone who's outside of the White House, Corey Lewandowski, to write a memo that he dictated, if you read the report, mm -hmm. to Jeff Sessions saying, change the focus of the investigation and get it off me. The evidence is overabundant that Donald Trump wanted Bob Mueller gone and that he told McGahn to take care of it. And Preet, uh, uh, lastly, um, this is a question about whether President Trump will be in legal jeopardy uh, after uh, his presidency is over, whether that's in 2021 or 2025. Uh, Rudy Giuliani suggested uh, he's not worried at all. Uh, they got their shot and, and, and they missed. Um, uh, what do you think? Is there exposure for President Trump, uh, legal exposure? Uh, and Mueller alluded to the fact that uh, presidents are not immune from prosecution a after the presidency is over. Yeah, look, I mean, the, the Mueller view, it seems to me, if you look at the document, is that they absolutely believe there is a potential uh, viable prosecution once Donald Trump leaves office. I mean, he says in, in, in great partic particularity that although you cannot prosecute a sitting president under the OLC interpretation, we are nonetheless preserving evidence while memories are fresh and documents are available because a president, once he leaves office, can be charged with crimes committed while in office. I don't think it could be more clear whether or not a prosecutor will seek to do it and whether or not um, there will be viable defenses, uh, I don't know. But, but the position of the Mueller team, to me, is clearly the case. They think there's future legal jeopardy.